All right, guys, the time is officially here. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see an update video on the Icon tools. Totally missed the two-year, but we're gonna rock the three-year uh, update on these things. So uh, I wanna start off. This one is for the people that love the Icon tools and for the haters, because I know there's tons of haters on these tools. I don't really understand why. My best guess is they're all like Snap-on fanboys and, and they wanna take out a half million dollar loan for their tools for their $50,000 a year job. Not sure, but that's what I'm gonna guess. Anyways, dude, the Icon tools are doing great. I haven't had any issues. I actually just recently ended up uh, getting a replacement on one of my ratchets, and I'm pretty sure this was the ratchet that they did a recall on like three years ago. So uh, I'd have to look up the numbers on that, but that's pretty dang good. That's the only issue I've had is the ratchet. I think it just locked up and stopped switching, but like I said, I'm pretty sure that was a recall uh, piece. Dude, the sockets are doing good. Um, I haven't had any issues with these. I do have the impacts as well. So I use the impacts obviously for impact stuff and then the chrome stuff, you know, for hand stuff. So as far as the sockets, for a while, I didn't have the impact socket sets. So I was using the chrome ones for impacts, which to me, they're holding up good. I wasn't having any issues with them uh, rounding the edges or the drive part. Uh, they're working good. So I guess if you really want, you could probably get just the chrome ones and, uh, and rock those on an impact. But we got all their extensions, sockets, most of the ratchets, breaker bars. Uh, and then we have the, the one outcast snap on here. Uh, I really do like this thing, but we need to get the bigger ones or the longer icon set up. Uh, and then we'll be dialed on that part. The wrenches working good. I use the, the ratchet wrenches all the time. These things are the bee's knees. I'm missing a lot of the icon tools since I first got these. So I need to get caught back up and get the entire kit. But over time, we'll get those uh, wrenches. I use the big ones all the time. These come in really handy for doing the steering stuff on some of the builds. They use, you know, the ball joints. They use bigger jam nuts. So I utilize these quite a bit. I haven't really been using the crow's feet at all. Those are kind of... Those aren't really a thing, a tool you use that often, but when you need those, you like really need it. So I'm glad I have those. We got, uh, missing their pliers. We need to get some of those, but the screwdriver drawer is coming in handy. We got all their little ones here, picks, and then, dude, these are the bee's knees. Uh, <laughs> if you got some extra money, go get a bunch of these. I use these things all the freaking time for like radiator hoses or hoses that you need to break loose. They come in handy. They have some longer ones, so you can really reach, reach right in down there and, and get that thing loose. You, need, you know, get that thing loose up. Anyways, I, dude, I don't understand why people are hating on those so bad. I mean, if you use the tools correctly as they're intended, they work just fine. And I even go above and beyond and like put cheaters on stuff. And I've never had any issues. I mean, I've put, I've double wrenched, like put cheaters on the ratcheting wrenches and none of them have broke. So explain to me how these, these don't work well. And I use them every day. I use them here, and then before I left my old job, I had Icon Tools at that place, and they really, really got abused there. So I don't understand where the hiccup is. I think the quality is right up there along with Snap-on. Personally, you can take that how you want, but I just don't see the purpose of spending that crazy amount for like a full Snap-on setup, especially if you're just getting into you know, the automotive world, you just got a new tech position or whatever. There's just no point. I mean, you're, you're paying more money to the Snap-on guy for your tools monthly than your dang house mortgage. Like, come on, like, look at that a little bit. You don't need to go that extreme when this stuff does just fine. And another cool thing that I'm stoked about with the Icon stuff is they're starting to come out with more uh, specialty tools, which is one of the areas that I seen they were lacking. Because at the beginning, they didn't really have the specialty tools. So Snap-on and Mac and all those tool companies were really shining because <laughs> sometimes you really need that quality specialty tool so it doesn't break. You know, it's just got small fingers or whatever it may be. But Icon start coming out with those, so I'm excited about that. We actually today just got in our, uh, our new Icon tap and die set, so I'm super excited about that. I do a lot of stuff with those, and I don't have a good die set uh, to chase threads. So I'll be, uh, that's exciting to have that. We'll have that in both metric and standard. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I just picked up uh, their hammers, all their Icon hammers. These should be 
pretty good. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I use this Mac one all the time, but probably gonna start using their uh, ball peen. I am missing one, but I've been using the dead blow quite a bit, especially for the, the CNC table build, and I mean, no complaints there. I bought some other ones a uh, long time ago, and they it broke up over the years, especially if you're pounding on studs or whatever, they, they chip, but we'll see how, how well those hold up over time. Oh, that drawer's not icon. That's full of Milwaukee and D-Wall. But maybe, maybe someday it would be full of like Bauer tools. That's another thing. They're coming out with a lot of Bauer tools that are uh, a lot more automotive friendly. That's the hard part is a lot of those uh, cordless tools are more dedicated to woodwork. And it, there's not very many companies out there that use or have a lot of automotive related tools like ratchets and impacts or stubby impacts. So they're coming out with more there. Might end up changing that up later, but for now, I think, dude, I'm stoked on my icon setup. I don't really care what any of you guys say, the haters, whatever. <laughs> How do you hate on it when they're working and I don't have issues? So all the haters can just kick rocks and, and the tool lovers can keep loving on. Make sure you like the video. That's what we like to hear. So I know it's been a long time coming for the icon update, but this is it. This is the official three year. We skipped the two year because I don't know. Maybe we'll do a fourth year. Drop a comment down below if you want to see a, a four year icon tool update. Maybe by then we'll have the entire collection. What I'd really like to do is switch out these uh, US general boxes and I want to get an entire large icon box set up. I mean, I check that thing out pretty much every time I'm in there. It annoys Cassie because I'm just drooling over it. But one day we're going to get an entire icon box set up and change this up. So, uh, yeah, drop, drop a comment down below with Harbor Freight and tell them to send me an icon box and we'll just change all this up. That's a good idea. We'll get the icon box and then we'll give these away. I'm not sure how we'd ship these, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can do a giveaway on the boxes. We'll just change it all up. Anyways, that's going to be your icon update. I hope you liked it. Uh, I know I'm slacking on it and uh, I guess we'll see you on the, the four year one. See you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.